Hey there, stackers. Big Stack McGee here. How are you doing? Well, welcome to the weekend. Friday night. I've got a small order of silver I'm looking forward to unboxing. And, um, oh, I forgot. Silver's not very popular right now. Maybe you don't want to see this. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, if you're watching my video, I'm hoping that you're excited to see some silver. Uh, but there's a lot of negative sentiment out there right now um, in the comment sections of silver videos and whatnot. And, um, you know, I, I'm going to venture a guess. It's less an attack on silver and more an attack on silver stackers, though. This is where all the people that are, you know, come out saying, I told you so, I told you silver was a bad investment, blah, blah, blah. And you're a fool now, why are you still buying? There's, there's people I respect a lot that I've had some pretty harsh comments from uh, in some of the comment sections of my videos. But so I'm just going to take a moment and address the best I can how I kind of feel about that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to still keep buying bullion. Um, I think it's great. I think silver is inherently valuable. If I was excited about silver at $22 a year ago, and now it's at 15 and 16 and a dollar of, uh, an American dollar buys more silver now than it did back then, and I, I'm excited about that, I don't understand why people all of a sudden think that uh, I'm a fool for doing that. Um, I'm more bullish than ever. I want to get as much as I can. Um, this is an opportunity to drop down how much every ounce costs me to do that. So um, unless you're a person that thinks that, oh, the jig is up, silver is no longer going to have value, well, if you if you think that, then I think you're the fool, to be honest with you. I think silver has held value for, for centuries, thousands of years, in fact, um, and I don't see that it happening anytime soon. So... The fact that whether it's oversupply or you know less demand, however you want to look at it, and I don't think it's less demand, by the way. I think it's being manipulated down, but who cares? Could it trade sideways or even go down for the next 5, 10 years? Of course it can. And um, for anyone that starts purchasing silver, I sure hope you know about the volatility before you get into it. Um, but silver is a commodity. I understand it's not a fantastic investment. You're not going to see dividends on it. You're not going to see you know, returns on your investment and whatnot. That's not what it is. It's a commodity. But here, it's also a commodity that has no shelf life, folks. Okay, you buy pork bellies or something like that. You know, that's got to be used at some point. You, know, you buy corn, that's got to be used at some point. Um, silver, yeah, no, it doesn't give me a return, but it also doesn't spoil. And unless, like I said, unless you think that the long-term like future of silver is that it's no longer going to be held precious or no longer going to be, have any kind of value, well then yeah, then that, then it's probably a pretty scary thing to buy. Don't do it. <laughs> but I just I happen to think that it's uh, it's going to be great. So um, again, I'm not using it as an investment though. So that's just kind of how I feel. Um, I've had a long-term goal now of increasing the size of my stack. Why would I not be excited when I can purchase it for so cheap? So that's where I'm at. Yes, I'm going to keep buying bullion, um, all different kinds, the things that I like. I'm going to stack it up, and I want to make one important note. I'm using money that I don't need anytime soon. This is a surplus. This is a savings for me. As I see my stack grow, I, it represents savings to me, savings that I may never need. May, if silver spot price stays at 15, trends down to 12, trends down to 8 like it did in 2008 and whatnot, well, fantastic. I'm still going to buy as I have the ability to and watch that stack grow. If I need it for something, then I guess I'll have to sell. If I have to take a loss on it, then I have to. But I don't anticipate doing that because I have a lifestyle where I don't anticipate that happening. I am protected in many other different ways with emergency funds and the fact that I have no debt and all that kind of stuff. So this, to me, is a long-term venture, and I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. I just, I believe in the long-term value of silver, and so that's why I stack it. So, um, But here's what I'd like you to do. If you have a question specifically for me about why I stack or how I'm doing it and why I feel comfortable doing it or whatever, feel free to leave a comment in the sections and I'll, I'll do a video where I answer some questions. People have been asking me um, for input on different things, but if you have a specific question you want in, in light of where things are at right now or my methodology or why I do what I do, feel free to ask a specific question and I'd be happy to uh, reference that in a future video. So. Without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this uh, quick bit that I picked up from eBay.
Okay, well, here I have uh, two 5-ounce silver bars. These are from the Scottsdale Mint, and I picked them up from uh, Scottsdale, Scottsdale's eBay uh, store. And um, I'm not going to lie, I got a terrific price on these. And uh, these are some pretty sharp-looking bars. Um, they come in this plastic case. I have one of these from before, but I saw a terrific price and I picked them up. I had some uh, eBay bucks or something like that that I needed to spend or coupon. I don't remember what it was exactly, but uh, it ended up being a terrific value at these. Something ridiculous, like $17 an ounce or something. So very, very pleased at being able to find a deal on this because these tend to uh, sell for a little bit more. Um, but I love Scottsdale products, and so I was happy to, uh, to grab these. So this will go on my bar stack. I'm going to do a bar update, I think, in a week or two here shortly. Um, I also have... Uh, two-year anniversary of stacking coming up, so we'll be happy to talk about that coming up soon. Um, I have a bigger order on the way um, that I'm looking forward to unboxing. It's going to look very familiar to those of you that have watched my recent videos. Um, so that's on the way. This I can tell you right now, November is going to be a bigger month for me. One of my biggest I've ever had, I think. So pretty excited about that. All right, folks. That's it. You get 10 ounces of silver in this video and a little bit of rambling from a <laughs> from someone that's excited about all the, the comments that are going on. But like I said, I appreciate you watching my videos. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to do a, a video soon that references specific questions that you might have. So that's it. Take care.